big weight. When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny. You got 405 for 10 now before? Bro, I got 405 for it. I used to be so much stronger back in college. I used to do 405 for 20. I used to do 405 for 20. Me and Wupe, me and Wupe would do 405, and um, we were going to Tyler Junior College, but we were going to the University of Tyler to work out, and we would fucking, this is when we were watching Hodge Twins, Mike Rasheed, we would go to the gym and do 405 for 20. I remember we saw this video with this German guy, or Russian guy, or whatever, he was doing it in his garage, and we was like, yo, let's do it. Next thing you know, bro, yo, we used to go so hard, bro. And I'm trying to figure out what the fuck happened to my ass, yo. I used to go so fucking hard in the gym, bro. Like, I used to be doing like 700 pound box squats. Like, I used to fucking go off. And then I just like, I guess, I guess like the more I got into like the fitness and shit, and like the more successful or whatever, like the more chill I got. Cause it's like, oh, I'm already here. I ain't gotta do that shit no more. I think, I think that's what it is. But still though, I used to go ham, bro. Damn. With, with a smaller frame, mind you, that shit's crazy. Nah, it was, I, was, I was, I was like, I was still like 220, 220, two, I was still between like 220, 230. Yeah. I say we bring it back. Huh? Bring it back. Bring what back? The monstrosity. 315 for 50. 315 for 50? I did 205 for 50. I died. 205 for 50? It took me six weeks to get there. Yeah. Yeah, 225 for like 50. Yeah, no, that was. I don't want to because it's boring, but I'll do it. Yeah. That's, I mean, it was literally like three minutes of work. <laughs> like, it sucked. Oh, that's, the, that's the workout. That's the workout. I mean, I didn't do anything. I wouldn't do anything. <laughs> the only thing I do after that is I find some leg extension. Yeah, leg extension. 100 leg extension. Go home. Calf oh. raises. Go home. Yo, that's the new thing. 50, 50 rep squat and leg extension. That's the, that's do that, the do that for a month. See what you get. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be huge. Oh, shit, boy. That's crazy. I'm going to warm up right here. Damn. I actually started box squatting again. I got a video coming up for y'all for box squat. But um, once again, 60% off. Use code Aftermath. We got the body analyzer scale um, for you guys. You know, chest bone density, water, fat. Um, it's an average, pretty much percentage based off of your height, body weight, age. And uh, something for you to keep numbers. I like it because I like to have numbers. Only thing I don't keep numbers on is my calorie intake just because I don't know what the hell I be doing when I be eating. And I'm just kind of free balling it right now with my food. But make sure you guys use code Aftermath to get that 60% off on the body analyzer scale. I got it with me. We'll see where my weight is at right now. Um, I've been eating pretty good lately, actually. So my main goal right now is to actually stay away from dairy. Um, try my best to stay away from gluten. I know that's not gonna last very long. And then um, try to stay away from soy as well. So three, three main things I'm trying to stay away from. Um, and pretty much try to get back into meal prepping. We spent like three, four hundred dollars on groceries the other day. And healthy foods and shit. And like, I've been eating a lot of seafood lately. Just so I had like shrimp and rice last night. I got some octopus tentacles. You guys will see. I'll be eating that up. For, I eat, I'm about to eat a pound of octopus tentacles for you guys. For, for an episode, and uh, we'll go out for that. But right now we got deadlifts today. Uh, we're gonna warm up right here. I'm just gonna do 30 seconds. Just a nice little breeze, uh, about three sets, and just to kind of get my body in motion and going. And uh, yeah, oh. first 30. Play some Fortnite later. You know, you, you be on Fortnite? I was about to say like you like you don't look like you play Fortnite. <laughs> I might, I might play Fortnite for two hours before I play World War Z. World War Z will like keep me through for another couple hours. Another two hours. Or whatever. Alright, we can live it.
gotta look both ways when you get down there work those trap keys against muscles, you know what I'm saying? I, I watched uh, White Man Can't Jump for the first time, like two weeks ago. You liked it? You better yeah, have I liked that shit. You saw Money Tree? No. It's, a, it's like a, you said free solo? It's like a, like a documentary? Kind of. All right, actually, so today, I haven't done this in a while, but today I kind of want to go over with you, the deadlift setup, how to deadlift efficiently. Efficiency with the deadlift, all right? A lot of you um, talk about like hitching, lower back problems, lower back pain, or whatever. And when it comes to lower back pain, the main keys you need to focus on is enough flexion in the hamstrings. So that stretch, you know what I'm saying? Tight hamstrings will cause lower back pain. Tight glutes will cause lower back pain. And tight hips will cause lower back pain. Those are three key areas that you need to focus on when it comes to the deadlift and lower back pain. Um, understanding how to separate the contraction from your hamstrings and glutes is very important. And to do that, what you need to do is single leg glute bridges. Single leg glute bridges is what will help you understand how to contract the hamstrings first and then the glutes, right? So hamstring, and then as you push further, you get into the glutes. That's one thing that you'll see me in a couple other videos in the past say that that's one thing that will hurt athletes when it comes to um, separation of muscle contraction. So, that being said, I'll get to that after this, but right now, I'm always about bar to midfoot. Right? Keeping tension already on my heels, around that slightly, and now that's the heel. Pulling that bar. Straight up, bringing that bar across the, the, as, as close to the body as I can. Bring that bar as close to the body as I can. The more out you are, the more bent over you'll be. You keep that bar straight. Sometimes I like to just come already in my stiff position right here. Get down. One, two, three. Up. I don't, I don't really, I don't have my feet straight forward. If I have my feet straight forward, my hips feel tightened. So I have to have an out kind of stance like this where my hips feel more open. Now, my knee may get in the way sometimes, but I work past that. And just try to focus on grinding, 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 grinding up that shin. And then when it gets to their knee, to pulling back. So one thing that was trying to be taught to me, now I will say that somebody, I'm not gonna say a name, somebody was trying to teach me uh, deadlift, you know, back in New York. And I couldn't take, he's strong, stronger than me, but I could not take his critiquing on my deadlift form serious because knowing, even though he knew that I was strong, you tell me just, in the snatch and go. I'm like, you can't like, if I'm just meeting somebody new that I don't know about at all, the last thing I'm gonna tell you is to snatch and go, all right? I'm gonna need to know you for more than a week and see your deadlifting so before I say snatch and go. Now snatch and go, it works sometimes, you know, as far as just not thinking about it and just pretty much coming in, trying to pull the shit and just rip that shit up, but that's not something I would ever tell you guys, all right? You've seen me do it before. There, there, there comes a perk with it sometimes, but it comes a lot of cons. And a lot of cons is if you have not already perfected the deadlift, then that is not a go-to form for you at all. So do not snatch and rip at all, all right? You can't, you can't do that because the thing about it is if you have not perfected the deadlift form, then you could come in, boom, 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 Try to grip, next thing you know, you know, uh, struggling with one leg or whatever, you could be off balance. You need to understand how the perfect fit feel is for yourself when you deadlift before you even consider that. It's all about uh, connection, you know what I'm saying? So when your body already understands what position it needs to be in, you have to build that, all right? 
you have to constantly work on deadlift to build that to understand how the body should feel in a deadlift. You may like I can do it, you know. As soon as, as soon as I knew, well, I did that. So I already knew what my feet need to be. Boom! I already knew what the feel need to have. After that. Five for a single. It was a little rougher than I expected. Uh, I think I'm probably gonna go out one more time. I'll put some 25s on here just to get above 700 um, for a single. Maybe take a small assault, just kind of wake myself up. Uh, life of Instagram and shit. After that little scene, I just pull, take your time to get it posted and shit because it's my post time, 12 o'clock. By the way, make sure you hit that notification button on my YouTube and my Instagram and my Twitch if you follow my Twitch. <laughs> bro, I ain't deadlifted in a month, bro. But I was hyped. Nigga was hyped, though. I'm glad I tried it, though. I'll be able to get that shit by next week. No bullshit. I just, I just took too long of a break. When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny.